Last time, we got a mooring ball at the Bitter End Yacht Club, and Kinto picked us up and took us ashore for a great evening of dinner and dancing. We head back to the boat, only to lose an earring. One earring resulted in some mayhem. I'm the new face of the BVI. <laughs> we found that earring in the crystal clear waters dockside the next morning and retrieved it. Fortunately, behavior returned to normal. We took the Bitter End Yacht Club Ferry to Gun Creek and took a cab with Patsy across Virgin Gorda to the Baths. We hiked down to Devil's Bay and found that we had the bay all to our own. What a blessing. We had an amazing relaxing swim before exploring the baths. Leaving Devil's Bay, I injured my heel. Ouch. We explored the baths and the massive geological formations. We hiked out to the top of the baths where we had a great lunch. Patsy picked us up and took us back to Gun Creek so we could catch the ferry to the Bitter End Yacht Club. <laughs> we cleaned up and Kinto picked us up and sunset took us ashore for a lovely outdoor sunset dinner at the Bitter Inn Yacht Club. <laughs> Kinto took us back to the boat. Apparently we don't know how to get into the dinghy. We have a great beach day at the Bitter Inn Yacht Club, playing cornhole, relaxing in the shade at the high top table at the boat bar and enjoying a nice meal and beverages. Kinto has been great, taking us to and from the Bitter End Yacht Club and Sabre Rock. Thank you, Kinto. We saw the feeding of the tarpon. We walked around and toured the island of Sabre Rock. We had a nice sunset dinner before Kinto took us back to Cabo. It's hard to put into words sometimes. The sensation of raising the sails and watching the wind fill them. The sheets are now under tension as the boat begins to move through the water. The sails are trimmed to optimize the boat speed as much as possible. It takes quite a bit of effort to get it all set up and get the boat underway. Then there is a moment when everything is working together and we are moving through the water to our next destination. Without the use or noise of an engine, and we can stand watch while the rigging, sails and such do all the work. But the wake the boat makes gets louder as the boat speed increases. The reflection of the sun on the constantly dancing waves is hypnotic at times, and I never tire of the scenery on the ocean. Oh, he's got it, because I can see orange in his beak. Oh, oh, oh my Lanta, here they come. Yeah, you're gonna have stuff. You're gonna have to clean the poop deck. I know. Thank you for volunteering, Sherry. No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's your fault. I Stop. wasn't the instigator of this one. Thanks for the clarifier. You got it. <laughs> Later in the day, we meet this passing crew on the beach. Stay tuned. We are going ashore to go to the north side of the island for some beach time and snorkeling. The engine is still running as I am using propeller thrust to keep the bow of the boat on the dock as everyone disembarks. Oh my gosh, look how huge they are. Look at that. And I got us famous for their lobster. Unlike all the other Virgin Islands that are volcanic in nature and quite mountainous, Anagata consists of limestone and coral and is flat as a pancake, with its highest point being 28 feet above sea level. Anagata is known for miles of white sand beaches and the 18 mile long Horseshoe Reef, one of the largest barrier reefs in the Caribbean. We are arriving via cab at the north shore of Anagata at Tipsy Bayan a beach bar offering gifts, cold drinks, and Caribbean dishes. 
Okay, now where do we set up camp so we can go swimming and snorkeling? But it's, it's been, it's been, it's been no comment, no comment on this Who are you? I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Laura Whitman, and I am so thrilled to be on Anagata. Just met some amazing people here with Captain Lori Loretta, my dear friend, and two crewmates, fellow crewmates, Lori and Amy. And they're chilling here, and we took a few hours to just get off the sailboat. And um, I'm not providing music solo. I've got a great backup singing group with us here. And I'm really thankful that Richard and his beautiful wife, Georgia, are um, so friendly and his whole crew. And I can't wait to uh, reconnect again in the future. Cornerstone Music Studios, I miss you all back in New Jersey. And I'll see you soon, and we'll be making a lot of music together. Super. And... And I'm Loretta from Laurel Island. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Don't stop. <laughs> and I came down here to relax and sail and along the way uh, promote my brand. <laughs> so tell us about your brand. Oh, we, we sell and promote anything nautical, nautical treasures, right? So it's all about unique nautical products. Um, and it's from jewelry to drinkware to um, towels and blankets. Like we we have a variety, but they're all unique. Wonderful. <laughs> all right. So Cornerstone Music Studios is a music education studio based in Central Monmouth County, New Jersey, and uh, I'm the founder and director. My name is Laura Whitman, and we've been in the Millstone Township area for over 16 years. And our website's Cornerstone Music Studio. Studios.com and always inspire others with your music. Wonderful. The background, we arrived and this is the only shade on the beach and Laura was nice enough to offer sharing the shade and the chairs with us so that's how we're yeah. got together and visiting today. And Richard was nice enough to offer to loan me his snorkel gear and I whipped out. I said it's a little windy for me right now but these guys are awesome. Lovely to meet this California bunch. Perfect. Thank you. To round out the story, these folks delivered the crutches that Mike and I are sharing. Uh, they came from the clinic in Virgin Gorda on, to Patsy, the taxi driver, then to the ferry, and then to the Bitter and Yacht Club. They got delivered to our boat. So thank you all very much. Cameron was our Cameron, that's right. Cameron was, Cameron was the guy at the Bitter and Yacht Club. Thank you, Cameron. Our time on the beach today is coming to a close. A few more photographs before we call it a day, and we stop by the gift shop for a look-see. These are cute shirts, they're only $20. That's cute, honey. That looks like you. We had a nice time on the beach, albeit it was quite windy today, and the water was a bit cloudy, so not the best snorkeling. Now, we're headed back to the boat. You want to untie us, Gerald? My feet are swollen and bruised from my hiccup at the baths. We're going ashore to have dinner. Welcome to Potter's by the Sea, restaurant and bar. Our sail today is a little over 27 nautical miles. It's a nice downwind sail and today we averaged 6.1 knots and it took about four and a half hours to get to Great Harbor on Jos van Dijk from Anagata. 
That's Virgin Gorda on the horizon. Looks like there's some weather over Yost, but hopefully it'll blow over by the time we get there. We are a great harbor and we are taking a cab to the bubbly pool. We've never been this way on a... So this is brand new for us too, this way. Steven is our driver and the taxi ride is quite a bit further than I imagined. The views from the road are quite spectacular and it's well worth the cab ride. The roads are quite steep and it is an experience to be had. Get a little advertisement for your cab here. Yeah. Stephen dropped us off and now we are off to the bubbly pool. As we walk to the bubbly pool, I am always amazed at the damage Hurricane Irma caused. The dead wood along the trail here used to be a green canopy that covered the trail and one would have to step over and under branches to make their way forward. If we wait though, some might come in. It's very empty today. I can feel Sherry thinking, we came all the way here for that. There isn't much of a north swell today, so the pool is a bit empty and there isn't much wave action. Regardless, the water is refreshing and we do get a few sets that provide the bubbly pool experience. This was the largest set we received that day. After a nice relaxing float in the bubbly pool, we make our way back to the roundabout so Stephen can fetch us and take us back to the dinghy dock. What is it? Rain coral. <laughs> oh. I'm getting tired and I'm pulling up the rear. I, I see your leg. All right. As we wait for Stephen at Taboo's, we came across this little puppy. Of course, who doesn't like puppies? This little fellow was quite cute, and it's always nice to visit with a little dog. Are you afraid of it? What a cutie. He's so sweet. Stephen is now taking us back to the dinghy dock at Foxy's.
With Bodhi Ball, a new reservation needs to be made each morning. This particular day, I was unable to reserve the same ball, so we had to move to another. Of course, another boat was on that ball. I took the dinghy over to meet those folks and find out their plans for the day. Norm, the owner of his new Leopard 50, was nice enough to invite me on board, introduce me to his family and friends, and gave me a tour of his boat. Lovely people and a very nice boat. Thank you for the hospitality. Here is Norm and his crew leaving Great Harbor, and we move our boat to the new ball. Come back next time as we head for the beach at White Bay, the home of the Soggy Dollar Bar. My ex-stepbrother Jay has reserved drinks for us at the Soggy Dollar. We have some quality floaty time in the warm Caribbean Sea. We get some retail therapy and dine out on Joost van Dyke. We make our way back to Roadtown, take a cab to Cane Garden Bay for dinner and dancing at Mayette's. We watch the election results parade. Sadly, it is time to say farewell to our guests. Thanks for watching.